Well, um, my title as far as being a part of the MLK Reading Program, I'm one of the program coordinators, and this is going on our ninth year. Uh, I've been a part of it for eight years. Uh, the most important uh, piece to this is bringing the kids together so they can learn about MLK and his legacy. Uh, two of the most important parts is uh, dealing with uh, literacy and leadership. So that's a lot of what our stations uh, try to teach the kids, leadership and sustainability, leadership and, and in their own talents as far as music and drawing and anything that we can do that helps uh, students from the age of uh, 5 to 10. What, have all the, what are all the different uh, stations that you had here mm -hmm. and all the different things the kids learn when they come here today? Um, one of the stations that I love the most is called the Dream Cloud and at the Dream Cloud it just gives them a, a second to sit back and reflect and think about what is their future dream and whatever it is they can draw it, they can write it in the, in the cloud and take that cloud with them and, t and take that as not just being a dream but just a reality that they can see in front of them every day and the other part um, which is really big is our big community poem and even though it's, it doesn't rhyme it's as you read it it just becomes a piece of art um, and a lot of kids talk about being doctors being soccer players being a boss so for them to eat, actually say that out of their mouths makes it real and makes it um, a part of what they will think to do every day as far as going to school um, even the way they talk to people and the way they they move around in their everyday life um, one of the things I ask everyone is um we know the kids are here to learn and grow. Um, what does Shalee get from this? How, did, how does something like this help you grow? And uh, what do you take away from this to help you with your life as an adult? Um, well, big, 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 big part is if there wasn't, for, if it wasn't for the leaders in my life, the people that, um, and I have to say, behind the camera, Buster Brown, you know, <laughs> you've been there even from when I was in college. And if I didn't have people like, um, you and um, other uh, mentors here at Wisconsin State, even while I was at UNCG, that told me that I could do it, that I could be a, hair, a hairdresser, that I could be a choreographer, that I could be an event coordinator, that I can in the future go on to be a grad student, then I wouldn't understand how important it is to have an event like this to get students and kids together um, talking to each other about future and, and what it means to build each other up, just as Martin Luther King did as he built his, his dream through um, his actions. And uh, what what station is this here? This is the reading station. So this is where guys can come to get the books, and these are all books that are donated throughout the community. Um, so um, they can actually come get these books anytime? Yeah, or, okay. they can take as many as they want. Oh wow, this is fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me what you're doing over here. So today we uh, focus on advocacy and we focus on animal rights, world hunger, bullying, and racism. Okay, and, and what were you teaching the kids in this station right here? So teaching them to advocate for these uh, big topics in society, and it was interesting on what they wrote. One of the students wrote for racism. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. It shouldn't matter or think that way of somebody as a color and just think of them as a person. Well, this is a dream cloud station where basically you write down all the dreams that you have regarding school or what you want to do when you grow up. For example, this is what the kids were doing. This Say that naked. really loud. This is what the kids were doing when they came to our station. They took the dream cloud and wrote their dreams. Like this one's Megan. She put she would be a labor and delivery nurse and a U.S. Army officer and community leader. Today I learned about that. Oh, when you have money, you should save the money so you can have like when you go somewhere, you can have some money to go to places to buy things. And when you do things, you have to have things to do. And when you have money, like I said, you should save it so you can have a lot of things in your life. So um, I know you're reading buddies, right? Uh, why did you decide to volunteer? Um, me personally, I love working with kids, especially helping them, helping build them, build up their dreams. So as soon as I saw the opportunity, I was like, I have to do it. Right. Yeah, being on a college campus, you don't see a lot of children. So it's kind of nice to get out and work with them and see what they aspire to do and try to help them get there. Um, one of the things we know that um, kids come here to learn, 
you know, grow academically, mentally, spiritually. What did you get from this? How did this help you grow? Okay. <laughs> so personally for me, I think it was just going from each station and then like, it was just like, it was kind of a reinforcement of some historical facts. And then um, I think- I Historical just, facts about Dr. King about or African-Americans. African okay, and, um, gotcha. Yeah, just, the whole civil rights civil movement. Civil rights movement, okay. yes. And then, um, I don't know, I guess I just learned, it was kind of fun, like I had a, like a um, flashback from when I was a kid and I was doing different programs like this. Right. And so it was, I, don't know, I guess I just learned how to like be a kid again, like with the coloring and things gotcha. like that. Okay. What about you? What did, what did you get from this? How did this help you grow? What are you going to take back with you to Wake Forest? Um, it was really fun to just sit down and get, get down on the floor with the books and kind of throw it back to elementary school when I put my PJs on and would read with everybody. So it was just a good time to really get into those books and talk to them about all of the historical things. Today I served as a reading buddy and I learned that this program really encourages education and diversity infused in one and helps get the community involved and together and that together we can do anything. Yeah, um, why did you decide to uh, volunteer as a reading buddy? Um, I always loved celebrating things like Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Black History Month, and I feel that's very important to encourage the youth about like their history and black history, especially because it's underrepresented in our education system. What is the main thing you think uh, the kids learned here today? <laughs> this kid I like to <laughs> um, I think they learned that people care and the community cares and that people will really reach out and let them know that they have support from everyone in this community. I am here to be a part of the Winston-Salem community. It's my first time um, volunteering in the community and I'm really, really happy that I did this. Good. And what did you do today? I was a reading buddy and I got to walk around with uh, Dailani and we got to go to all the different stations, learn about all different sorts of things and color a lot um, and it was really great. What do you think the most important uh, thing your reading buddy and other children learned here today? I think the most important thing that they learned is that um, there's a lot of people in the community that care about them and that there's a lot of things in the world that they can learn and they don't have to be afraid of and that um, and that we're all human and um, yeah, and love is love, yeah. <laughs> so this is a literacy program um, for children 4 to 11. Um, initially, nine years ago, it was for um, Title I schools to have kids to come out and learn about um, Martin Luther King and um, the values that and, and the, um, the rights that he fought for for everyone. And so um, it's good to be a part of this because it really just um, helps the community to um, further understand that um, we continue to want to uh, um, implement what Martin Luther King stood for. Um, I am a part of Hands On Northwest North Carolina, um, and we partner with Hands On uh, West Salem State, um, the local schools, uh, West um, Lake Forest University, the School of the Arts, and Salem College. We all come together for this event for the um, college students and the elementary students to have reading buddies. And um, so my part in this is to help recruit volunteers and help recruit the um, the students. Uh, this is my first time here. This is really great. Uh, enjoy seeing everybody, the kids. Work as my partner Vanessa over here uh, from Wake Forest, and um, it's just great seeing the kids come up. And when you ask me the questions about sustainability, of course, that's such a big, long word for such future leaders. And by the time we get done, you look on your face. You know, where does your food come from? And they, it's an eye opener. And to see that is really, really rewarding. So will you be a part next year? Uh, I'd like to read some more next year. Okay, we'll make sure you read some more. <laughs>